So I also can't be going for you so far, man. Um, this has been going well. You know, um, a lot of stuff we've been getting right, correction, and I'm loving the team right now. It's been going well. For you, what is what have you been trying to work on particularly? I mean, you, you've been here since the spring, so what have you been you know focusing on? Um, well, basically, um, to play this game, you have to have technique. So I've been working on technique um, um, all this summer. So to get my, um, so I won't get beat. That's all. Going back to spring, what was the adjustment like for you? Did it take some time to get used to the speed of the game? Do you feel like you were able to jump in and kind of fit in right away? Um, with me, um, I'm always competitive, so I feel like um, it's easy for me to jump in, but there's some things you have to learn. You know, I just had to catch on to the plays and get them down pat and um, my assignments and execute. That's basically it. Tony Chief says he thinks you have 10 interceptions this camp. Is it that many or more? <laughs> it's 10, exactly. <laughs> it's 10 exactly. I'm trying to get more. What uh, what helps you break on the ball and finish plays like that? Um, playing DV, you got to have eyes, feet. You know, um, you got to know what your man going to run, um, read his hips, which way he turn, which way he stem you. So, um, with that being said, you got to be an athlete. You know, you got to go take, uh, take the ball for it, you know, because you can't let them attack you. You got to go get the ball at the highest point. So, you know. Is there a quarterback you feel like done a little better job in camp? Um, all of them have been doing good, so I can't say. Out of those 10 picks you've got, who have you intercepted the most? Um, I, I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. With you and T, both highly ranked guys, I mean, do y'all kind of sense high expectations for y'all to, you know, not only be good immediately, but to be pretty, I mean, pretty great immediately? Um, yes, I feel like we can be that. But um, for me, with that being said, with me, it's just like, it's a lot of technique wise, you know, I can be great, but, you know, he can too. You know, I tell him every day we can be, we all, we can all be great. We put our mind to it, but you know, it's just, uh, it's just mental right now. Defensively, how how far along do y'all think y'all are? Do y'all think y'all pretty well set to get games going? Um, I feel like, yes, sir, I think um, my team is healthy. We healthy right now. And, um, I think we can go far. Where do you think you've improved from a year ago playing Juco ball to where you are now and just with your game, what do you think you've done um, better? Technique. We're real big on technique. I'm a technique man. So, you know, without technique, you can't play this game. Is technique important, especially coming in facing, like, these bigger receivers like Laquan and String? I mean, I imagine you didn't see guys all that big, that big in, in junior college. I mean, was that an adjustment for you coming in? Um, A little bit. It's, it was a little because – um. Technique, yeah, yes, it is. Um, them guys, I go against them guys every day, and the corner, all of them, they're great guys. You know, I like to um, come compete with them all the time. Great guys, so I don't got no choice but to get battle with those guys. It seems like you and Laquan like to go at each other pretty good in practice. Oh yeah, yeah, he know. Um, I'm just getting the best out of him. He getting the best out of me. It's, um, we talk about that all the time. So you know, I love him. You know, it's all it's all love around here. So on game day. That's what it is. I just want him to be the best, and he want me to be the best. Who wins more matchups, you or him? Um, he, he, might, he might get me every time. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, you had to cover Duke Williams in JUCO, didn't you? Yes, sir. I mean, how's he compared to Quan? Um, similar guys. Sim they're very similar. Great athletes. You know, um, Quan, my teammate. So <laughs> I love <little> Quan. <laughs> How good do you think that secondary can be? Because losing two All Americans, normally that be big cause for concern, but it certainly hasn't seemed to be the case thus far. How good do you um, think you guys can be? I feel like we can be great. Yeah, we can be great. We just, um, a lot of young guys, well, with um, Mike and Trey and CJ, all those guys in, in um, secondary, and, um, I tell them, I always communicate with them. You know, um, I might get something wrong sometimes, but I tell them guys, I always communicate with them because I want to know. You know, I stay around them a lot. Just tell them we can communicate. If we communicate, we can be um, better than ever. So um, I'm just playing my role in the part. If it comes, it comes. I'm just playing my role. I got to play my part. Then they, them guys are going to play their part. I know they are. When you first got here and had to pick up the whole entire defense, anybody take you under their wing and kind of teach you and get you up to speed quicker, maybe? Um, Mike Hilton. Um, I learned a lot from Mike. Um, I listen to him, a very positive guy. So. Um, I listen to him all the time. If, if I get something wrong, you say, Tony, you all right? Try again. We're trading them. They say, try it again. Um, they always tell me how to play this certain technique or whatever. Um, the ball get over my head. I, and I get beat. I ain't perfect. But yeah, Mike always, he was always on the hard, coming in, getting extra work. And Mike Hilton is a positive guy. Why'd you cut the dreads off? Um, 
clean up the image. <laughs> Coach Free said after spring he thought you might have been a little too aggressive at times. Have you found a balance there? I found a balance. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to find a balance, or that's just that's your style? He knows my style. He always pick at me every day, tell me when I'm getting interception. But that's for Freeze. I mean, I listen to everything you say. That's my coach. And if you say I'm being too aggressive, I lay off a little bit, come back aggressive. Again. He says he jokes at you? Yeah, what is some of the time. stuff he says? He always coming back and saying, um, it, it'll feel great if you catch a pick. But even though I got 10, so. Well, deep down, do you think he wants you to be aggressive like that? Oh, yes, sir. Um, I'm pretty sure he do. He love, I think, a couple of other things I'm doing around here. So, I mean, great family to be around, and I listen to everything he say. Thanks, Tony. Appreciate, Appreciate it, man.